And speaking of Samsung, it's been nearly two weeks since the chairman of Samsung Electronics, Egon He, was hospitalized after suffering a heart attack. But there hasn't been any news of his recovering consciousness. Exactly. And this is, of course, raising questions about, you know, what kind of challenges that Samsung may face without his leadership. And after all, uh, the group's sales itself accounts for, what, a quarter of the country's GDP. And uh, Huang Jihe is uh, joining us, of course, in our studio. So will Samsung take a hit without Egoni at the helm? Well, not according to some of the experts I've spoken to, and that's because of the system, the DNA that Samsung has already built in over the past 20 years, and that's what James Rooney from Advanced Capital Partners uh, said on this show as well, right? And there's also the fact that Samsung Group is not micromanaged by E at this point. But in the long term, experts say Samsung might face challenges as Chairman Yi was the one who sets up the big picture and pushes through radical changes and gets it done fast. It took less than two years for Chairman Yi Gong Hee to transform all of the group when he was trying to catch up with Apple when Apple came out with the iPhone. But now there's a big question mark hovering over the head of heir apparent Yi Jae Yong, Chairman Yi's son, who will have to fill the shoes of his father. I'm not quite sure if Che Yong Lee, uh, you know, succeeds his role. He would able, be able to show that much of a leadership, which will, you know, drive the entire entity uh, to cope with the, the changes. Some pundits also point to the fact that Taeyong has no major accomplishments to speak of in the 10 years since he began taking part in management decisions. In fact, in 2000, Taeyong was leading 14 internet venture companies as the largest shareholder of Yi Samsung. Just one year later, all of them were bankrupt. And there have been calls for improving the corporate governance of Samsung, especially when it comes to the ownership structure. How is that going to affect the new leadership? Well, as you said, the family has near absolute control of the entire group while holding tiny stakes in 74 affiliates through a tangled cross shareholding of companies. And shareholder activists obviously don't like this highly complicated web of cross shareholding, saying, saying it weakens the influence of outside shareholders. There should be no cross shareholdings between the non financial sector and the financial sector. As you know, Samsung Life Insurance is the largest shareholder of Samsung Electronics. That chain must be uh, broken. And with Egon He out of the picture, investors may speak out against this structure more actively. And can Junior Lee Jae Yong and the Samsung family maintain their group? Uh, the grip over the group is the question. Yes, and a lot of spotlight on how the group is going to restructure itself. Um, how, what do we know about the succession plan so far? Well, the big picture of the plan is mostly drawn up, experts say, and many are predicting that the electronics and financial sector will be handed over to E's only son Taeyong, the chemical and hotel sectors to first daughter Pujin and the fashion and media sectors to second daughter Soyeon. But they add that nothing is for certain when it comes to which affiliate goes to whom, especially regarding the construction sector. Okay, so we have much more to look forward to. Thank you so much, GA. Thank you for having me.